Hi, Lee. Welcome back to the channel, Fix It for Resetting. Uh, we've got another hi fi system. This one came from the bundle I bought off of uh, John Wilder, a friend and subscriber to the channel. Everything seems to be working okay except the tape decks. So we're probably looking at a problem with just the belts again. But let's take this apart, we'll have a look at it and see if we can fix it. Run the intro. So here we have it all turned on. Uh, we've got two CD trays. Both have been working, just been testing them. Uh, we've got our tuner. It's all working. Graphic equaliser seems good. All a bit dusty. Right, so yeah, just seems to be our tape deck. That one, the head seems to be up a bit. And the doors, the door was wedged shut. And the eject button is now popped open. That one stays shut. If I press the play button here, you can kind of like hear the motors going, but nothing. Same with this side. Yeah, same with this side. You can press the press the play, hear the motors going, but nothing is happening. Even with a tape. Let's try and show you in the front. Probably can't. It's full of dust. Let me help my mic up here. Let me put my mic here. So yeah, so you can hear it, but nothing is happening. Right, let's take this one apart. All right, so this one is like a ribbon cable system that connects everything up, so it's nice and simple to take apart. Door stuck open. All right, let me just take the cover off this. Screw on the back and sides. Right, sure enough, our bands have either gone or hanging off. They've gone to goo. And this one, I'm going to see this one here. Yeah. I think they have gone to goo. Well, not quite gone to goo, but going. They're ready to fall apart. Also on the side there is a door on mechanism. It's just clicked back. But I think because that playhead is slightly up, this metal bar is up and just stopping that mechanism working so let's try and work out how we're going to get these out of here hope it's just screws in the corner there there there's one down there and one down in there let's see if we can get a small screwdriver or something in it okay that's all the screws out let's see if we can lift these out Do these come off the board retrieve the screw I just dropped There's our belt hanging down the bottom, ready to fall apart. We should just be able to take our motor off of here. We should then be able to get to our belts, probably. Nice. Whatever it comes off this plastic post, 
however it's designed just to swing out the way. There it is. I don't know, it's popped off the arm now. Just need to wiggle it. Okay. Ready? This is just about to go. Not long before this was going to turn to that horrible oily stuff. All right, so have we got any belts to fit on us? going to be too loose. It's not in the groove yet. So by the time our motor's set on there, not really much stretch. It's pretty much starting to stretch there, which is where the pull is going to be. So that's a little too big. So that one's probably going to be better. We've got a bit of stretch there, and then we're going to stretch to there. So that is about right. So the fun part is always trying to get it back round your motor cook. Seem to go okay. Yep, that one's all nicely on there. So I'm just going to do the same with this one, and then I'm just going to clean this all up with cotton buds and alcohol, clean the heads, clean the rollers, and we should be good. Right, just a bit of IPA on a cotton bud. Uh, clean, clean up our head, get rid of some dust around here, just drying that with the uh, dry side of the cotton bud, and then yeah we'll do our capstan, capstan rollers and pinch wheels, see they're a little bit dirty. It'll always look filthy dirty like that because you're actually, it's actually some of the rubber coming off. But yeah, another problem you can get with um, some of these sometimes, if it's not planned properly, is these little bars along the top. It's on both decks. And then there are like two copper strips. I don't know if you can just see them popping out the back of there. Yeah, you can see it on that one. It's like two copper contacts. And when this gets. Um, so when the tape lifts this up like that, those contacts inside uh, touch. Um, you can slide these covers off. I think you have to be a bit careful with them. But you can slide them covers off and clean them contacts. If your belts are okay and it's like not planned properly. But yeah, that's another thing that can be a problem on these. It's a bit like the Technics, I think. Right, I'm just going to clean up this one and then we'll get it back together. Just bought something off Ricky Resales and he's mentioned me in his Instagram story. How do I see it? Alright, Ricky's mentioned. Quick little shout out to the legendary Fix It for Reselling. He has just purchased that HDD divider thing. Me I did indeed. 
no idea what he's got in store for it. He might just use it for its purpose. But either way, I appreciate it, mate. Something out the door from the weekend's pickups. Yes, I will be using it for its purpose. Be using it to copy the pictures off my camera and also to check hard disk drives that I take out of PlayStation PS3s. So thanks, Ricky, for that. It will get lots of use. Right, let's fix this. I fixed it. No, I have fixed it. Let's put it back together. Hang on, hang on. Nicola wants a cup of tea first. Nicola wants her tea first. Ooh. Tea and electronics side by side. Right. Right, back to the other cam. Recording. Right, so yeah. So at the moment we can't. I've like got the ejects stuck. Uh, where's the power button? Main power button. This should light everything up. There we go. You can hear the tape decks all clicking. Now hopefully the heads have gone down. That works. Why does that spring so quick? And that one's nice and slow. That's like had all its grease wiped up a bit. Can't see it, but that is missing a wheel on the door. I don't know if I can see in this one. I think you see there, that's got teeth on it, that got cogs, and just behind that, just in there, is a wheel. And this one's missing. I'm going to have to take this top off again in a minute and see if that's... Uh, see if that's fallen inside. Let's start with the annoying side first. And hopefully I've got something on this tape. I can't remember whether this has got music on it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. One of the wheels ain't turning. Is that just eating the tape? Now, what is going on there then? I think, I think, I think I might put them on wrong. So what I'm thinking is that it doesn't go down around those belts like that. I'm thinking it comes up here. So I'm thinking it goes that way. I think it goes around there. Then up here, over the top. And then round a the motor, which it's now popped off of. All right, yeah, so there. So our tension's still pretty much the same. But yeah, now we go that way, is that? I don't know. I don't know. Right, let's leave it apart so we can see what what's happening. All right, so power it all on. Close that door. Now, are you going to play? Haha. <laughs> That is playing. Not sure what's like, if there's anything on this tape though. I'm not sure why it won't fast forward or rewind though.
starts to. It's got. Why is that stopping? You can see the drive wheels are constant. So it is planned, so we've got the belt on the right way. So we know that's right. Right, so I've taken it out to um, see what's going on, and I can see what's going on now. Um, I've removed the board from the top, and just like the solenoid that moves like the lever over on here. But I can just see it a bit better now. Right, so I have sort of got this into position. I've moved it where it's just about to click over to the, one of the rewinds. Uh, see how far I can get him without it going blurry. All right, so. If I start turning this wheel, you can see this arm. You can see this arm here is starting to move up there. Really hard to show you. Hope you can see it there. And it's meant to just go slightly higher onto this clip, but it's not. We rate lower it back down. See, it's just meant to come up and clip over the top of that. It's getting up, but it's not quite making it. Even with like pressure on this arm, it sometimes goes out. It's gone over there. That's what it should do. It should lock it up there into place. But it's not on its own steam. This is usually like spring loaded. If that's usually sprung across there, I'll do this thing. see the arm moving up. It just doesn't quite get high enough. Well, it locked there in that time, but that's the trouble. That's why it's sometimes locking in, sometimes not. It's just not getting up high enough to get over that lip. It's pretty much level. I show you down in here. Yeah, that whole arm assembly comes down to here. And it's this little arm in there that you can see moving, which pushes it up. So either something in there might have worn out, because that is running inside another piece of plastic that's full of grease. You can see that arm there moving, which pushes that other bit of plastic up. That is the arm that's moving up. So it's either something slightly worn down here, it's just not pushing it up high enough. It's just not getting that bar high enough. I mean, if that had a bit of extra spring, it might click it over, but... I think I'd, to get all these cogs and everything off, I'm going to have to take the capstans out and split pins and stuff. Well, not split pins, but... C clips kind of. So yeah, it's either putting extra tension on that spring. Well, I think it might just be the tiniest little bit of play that's in this. That's all it is. That's all it would need to kick this off to make this slightly out. It is literally a fraction. So you might be able to see now, it's these two edges, it's that one. So now, yes, it's this edge. 
clips under this edge. Just like that. And then when it releases, it springs back down. Hmm. Got it round into place. This is where the part where it goes on the fast forward. Let me go back a bit, actually, if I can. Right, so when it comes onto the fast forward position, this usually has, this has got being tensioned by the, uh, by the solenoid that pings it over. Um, but if we go up here, which will be the fast forward position, you'll see in here, this clicks up enough to lock into place on there. Only just about hits it. But then the solenoid opens again, once it's gone round. The solenoid will click that open, so it goes back down. And then this position is when it hits rewind. So when we go round to that one, up here is not quite going into place. I think it did that time. Yeah, typical. But yeah, it's kind of like it's not going high enough. See there, at that time it didn't. It's just not lifting high enough to lock that in. It does now and again. So I don't know whether it's like this bit here that's worn. Slightly worn down because it's doing it on this bit which is fast forward all the time. It's just here. So I'm thinking I'm going to put a tiny bit of glue up here. I mean it's literally the width of a hair that needs to be built up on there. So I'm gonna wipe the glue off, um, wipe the glue off. I'm gonna wipe the grease off and just try and apply a small amount of glue to the top of there. It literally needs to be a thin layer. And then that should lift this arm high enough to push this up where it needs to be. It's literally, you know, a hair's thickness for that to click in there. Right, so I'm gonna bit of IPA we'll clean this grease off off of here apply a tiny bit of glue and see what happens so I'll fast forward this a minute I mean it doesn't look worn down at all really from what I can see but it must be slightly worn I'm just going to try a bit of this um, poly cement it's like for uh, what you get out modelling kits, this one. So it's used for gluing plastics together. Uh, I've not tried anything like this before on here. So I'm going to give it a go. Rather than trying to use super glue, this might, might be slightly better. Because it is for gluing plastics together. So I could make a complete mess of this. And I've had this for years, so it could be rubbish anyway. Get a bit of tea towel ready, because this can be very runny sometimes so I've just got a toothpick you can use whatever you like a bit of metal see it runs out of there quite freely that is going to be too much right, let me just see if I can zoom back in and show you what I'm doing right so that's it there so I'm literally I'm just going to put little bit of glue up on here you probably can't even see I don't want any on that bottom bit of plastic you can always sort of scrape it off the bottom before it sets but I literally just want it sitting on this top bit so I might just hold it up to stop it uh, running down
That is that for now. I'm going to leave that to set. Leave that on there to set and see if it needs another little layer. Just try and leave it stood upright so it sets on top. Okay, so I've let this dry for quite a while now. This is my second attempt at it. The first one I did, I let it dry. But as soon as I tried to uh, move this, the arm was just um, ended up knocking this off. Um, presumably because the plastic is so smooth. So I just sort of got the edge of a knife and just scuffed up that edge a bit. And hopefully that is nice and hard now. So now when I move this wheel, watch this little bit over here. It actually goes up and it actually clicks in. So it actually now clicks in there. See there, that's clicked in. Yeah, I'm not sure how long that's going to last or whether it's, you know, going to get knocked off very quickly. Uh, so now I'm just going to borrow some grease. Just going to get some grease from here and spread it over. I don't know why the grease is in that hole, because nothing goes in this one. Several's around the outside. So let's connect this all back together again. Right, so all back together for the last time I'm hoping. That door springing out is just going to annoy me. But that wheel is missing. Where are you going to play? Plays. Fast forwards. And rewind. Yes. I'm going to rewind it to the beginning of the tape. I think the focus is going to keep wandering in here. It's hard to see. But you can see it fast forwarding. Stop. And rewinding. Back to the beginning. Play. I think we got it. Right, that's it. I think we have it. I don't know how long that's going to last. That glue is probably just going to wear out and come straight off, but who knows? But you just can't get the parts for these anymore. So there's there's no option to get a replacement and that's just gonna annoy the hell out of me how that springs open. But that'll all get declared on a listing. Um, I'm not sure how much this is gonna be worth, at least sort of 60 quid altogether. Could sell it all separated and get a bit more money out of it, but probably just want the whole thing gone. So we'll have a look at the comps, you know, anywhere between 60 and 90 quid maybe. So is that it? The only problem on here was the belts I think when it the belts were gone and that worn piece of plastic I mean it's a hairline it's a hairline out that's all it is but anyway I hope you enjoyed this one I hope you learned something please like please comment please subscribe 
And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.